In this lesson today, I'm interested in showing you the adjustment menu. And it does what it says. It just makes fine little adjustments to whatever is selected. You can apply it to the whole image or the whole layer, or you can apply it just to one little selection. So just for starters, my setup, I have the original image just in case I mess something up on my current layer, I can always trash it and I have my original to restart. It's always a good practice. I also have just the volleyball selected because let's make some changes to just that volleyball. So I have the volleyball selected and so we can mess with the adjustment layer and see some of that. Let me move this over just a little bit. So if I go to adjustment and hit auto pop, check the colors now and as soon as I hit pop, they are a little bit brighter and then I'm going to control Z anytime I want to induce so I took that back I can go to posterize posterize is kind of like making it a little bit more like a cartoon and you can kind of see it has the shadowing and layer look of the of a cartoon and I could apply that I can go to vibrance and I can make it more vibrant or less vibrant. And you can kind of see what it's doing there. So all these adjustments are making fine-tuned little adjustments to this image. So I just did a deselect. So I took off the marching ants around just the volleyball. I'd like to mess with the whole layer now. So I have just this layer selected. So we can look at levels and different things under this. They all work the same way. You kind of test it. But the levels is kind of cool because it all has to do with the lighting in here. So I can adjust an image by, if it's a really dark image, if I took a picture and it wasn't well lit, I can almost come in here and change these settings so I can change the lighting of it and make it brighter. Um, if I have an image that ha is really red, somebody has red in their eyes, if I have an image, this one is you can even see there's a drop off point here. That means there's something with the reds. So if I change this, I'm just going to drag this here and that kind of corrects the red coloring here. Now I can kind of mess with these sliders. It's an eyeball thing till I get this the way I want it to look. And I can mess with the greens in here. There's a problem with the greens. So I'm going to go in here. And I can even look at the blues. Just to try to make it look as natural as possible. So you can experiment with all of these, these shades. And this is the blacks and whites in the color. Until you get the, um, the levels where you want them to be. This is if you really want to fine tune. I'm going to hit cancel. I also want you to know there's an auto adjust. So the computer itself, Pixlr itself, takes an I takes um, a quick sample of the image and it tries to adjust it the way it thinks it should be adjusted. There is auto black and white. I can color balance it and that again works with, I can work with midtones, shadows, and highlights. So maybe I just want to work with the shadows and change those a little bit. Maybe I want to work with the midtones, which I'm actually not going to mess with. And the highlights could use some adjustment. My apply was hiding, so I did have to use my mouse wheel to find apply. Curves that works a little bit differently. So if I'm on the white, this is the whites and blacks, I can take this curve and if I double click, I can drag this till it looks the way I want it to look. I can do the same thing with red. I can double click on the reds and I can make adjustments to the the curves and that's how you work with curves so the adjustment layer is a way or the adjustment menu is a way to kind of adjust different aspects to the coloring of your image